Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I am excited to talk about my plans for September. If you saw my makes video, then you know I went a little nuts in August and made a gajillion things. So September is going to be a little bit more low-key. Mostly, too, because I have two trips planned in September that will take me away from my studio, away from home, where I won't be able to do any sewing. Um, so I'm going on an anniversary trip to Boston. It's our 10-year anniversary this year. Very exciting. Um, and then at the end of the month, I am headed to New Orleans where I will be seeing my girl Taylor Swift in concert. I am so excited. I feel like she's been on tour forever and ever and everyone else has gone except for me. Everyone else has seen it except for me. Um, I mean, I know that's obviously not the case, but I just feel like we're at the tail end of the tour now and so I'm ready. It's my turn. Um, so I'll have a couple of DIYs that I'm doing for that weekend. Um, mostly just some like iron-on vinyl type of t-shirts. I already made my... Uh, costume or the outfit that I'm going to wear to the show. I made that back in January. If you remember the rainbow sequin top and like little leather short that I made. Um, so you'll get to see some of that um, at the end of the month on my social media accounts. But for the sewing for September, I have a few things. One is it is so my style time. No. Style Maker Fabrics. It's Style Maker Fabrics time again, meaning her fall fabric collection is getting um, ready to launch. She's already got a couple of fall fabrics on her website. They are awesome. As always, super great quality. Love her stuff. I'm going to be getting the swatches next week, I think, or maybe this week later on this week. Either way, I'm going to be getting them and doing the swatch video very, very soon. That is going to go up in September. And then the items that I am making um, for the tour, for the like the blog tour, um, that fabric will be coming in as well. I'm going to be making the Style Arc Sally jean skirt out of some stretch, oh, uh, stretch denim, stretch something, stretch twill. Um, camo print because in case you haven't seen camo is all the rage it's the new animal print it's the new neutral people are just putting camo on everything so I'm making like a denim skirt out of that fabric and then I've got a really really cool idea for a sweater I am going to be using a uh, sweater pattern that I already own um, or like a yeah, sweater, sweatshirt, top pattern that I already own and I'm going to be doing a, like a little hack to it to create something that in my mind is really, really, really cute and I'm very excited about it. So that's going to take a little bit of thought to get that together, but both of those are coming up. Sorry, I have no fabric to show you, but if you can imagine camo and then like raspberry ribbed sweater knit, try and picture that in your mind. That'll be my outfit for that. I'm going to be doing another um project with byannie.com if you remember i did the take a stand tote bag last month and this month i'll be doing the clam up um, zippered pouches so with all the travel that i have coming up these pouches are going to be great i am of the mindset that when you travel you need to be really organized that way you don't leave anything at home you don't leave anything in the hotel room and you can kind of stay tidied up in such a small area um, so I like everything to have its own bag. I put, um, like I use the packing bags for like my garments separated by category and then like all of my like toiletries and everything else all has bags. So I'll be, um, making up some of these and seeing like what I can switch over from purchased, um, pouch, purchased zipper cases to these um so i'm really excited the way that the take a stand tote turned out i think these are going to be um equally as great and i'm going to be using some of the fabrics that i've got from the um from the um modern maker box that i was subscribed to last year I, i'm still using those cottons and i find still a gajillion reasons to use them so if you are looking for a way to like stock up on cottons and things that you can use for like 
little scrap busters here and there you can still go check out the modern maker box okay um i wanted to show you a little sneak peek i couldn't add this to my um, makes video for August because it's not done yet. It is very, very close, but it is not done. But so I thought I'd give you a sneak peek and let you know that I'd probably be finishing it this month. But here is the bird dress. Yay! So this is a Carolina Herrera fabric that I picked up in New York City and I decided to use um, a Berta style pattern for it. Ow, there's still pins in there. Um, added some piping and some cute details. It's got great pockets and, you know, just really worked on, you know, this whole side panel piece is a little bit tricky, but I think that I have gotten there. The fit is a little tight. Um, I find that the Berta patterns run small. Do you guys find that? I even sized up from my muslin and it's still, it's still very tight. So thankfully this is a stretch cotton sateen um thankfully i'm losing a little bit of weight still so that hopefully i will be able to wear it and have it look nice so um so yeah stay tuned to see more on that i really just have like the neck facings and the arm facings to do next um okay and then for so my style this month it is the chalk and notch fringe dress and top or blouse which I do think is super, super cute and I'm excited to make it. I hemmed and hawed a little bit about making the dress or the top and I think I've settled on the dress just from seeing so many other people's makes. But, and I um, really wanna do it in something that's lightweight and drapey. I looked at my cottons, like my chambrays and stuff, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not convinced of this fabric either. This might be too lightweight, but this is the direction I want to go. This is a Rayon Chalet um, from Free Spirit. You guys have seen this before. This came in one of those um, kits that I got from Fabric Mart. Is that right? Fabric Mart Fashion Fabrics Club? One of those that does the kits. Um, I got this fabric originally for a maxi skirt um, pattern. But I think that would make a really cute fringe dress. If any of you have made it before or you're thinking about making it for So My Style in September, um, let me know if you think rayon in this kind of print, you know, very vertical print would be good. That's kind of where my mind is at. But anyways, um, that is it for my makes. I don't even have a refashion planned yet for this month, um, which isn't a very good sign. But I do have some clothing that I purchased from Goodwill in the past that I just need to kind of go through and find my inspiration for and, and sort out a plan. So I might end up eking out a um, refashion, but maybe not. I really want to though, because I am I think I'm on track. Maybe I've missed like one or two months. I don't know. Anyways, those are my plans for September. Um, I encourage you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I post a lot of progress pictures and stories and things like that there. So if you want to see what I'm doing in the meantime between the plans video and the makes video, um, please be sure to follow me on social media. I am at Inside the Hem everywhere, easy to find. Um, but in the comments of this video, please let me know what your plans are for September, sewing wise or otherwise. Are you traveling? I know a lot of you have sent off your kids off back to school, but there are a lot of you who don't have kids. So let me know what everyone is planning on doing now that the weather is finally starting to cool off a little bit. Um, I want to know just kind of what you guys are getting into. So if you enjoyed this, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.